So for a receded pubic area, that means we need a shorter crotch length, not a longer one. And we are going to start with the slash method, which is just like we did the slash method over there, except for because we're starting with it, it's on a back. Does that help? Okay. So we're gonna try doing it the way that I just explained it over there, where we're gonna make that slash mark farther down the leg. So I'm gonna come in from up here, and I'm not doing this exactly like the book because I don't know that I care for their method. I'm gonna come all the way down here to just above the knee. And I'm just gonna cut straight down this line and put a relief pivot down here at the bottom. So little pivot cut, start up here too, but not through my seam line. I always have the best intentions of not drinking a Diet Coke before I come in so that I don't have the caffeine jitters. But by the time you guys get here, I've already been here two and a half hours. It's never gonna happen. Okay, so because we're doing receded, that means we're making it shorter. We are doing a quarter inch adjustment. So right here on the crotch line, I'm gonna measure in a quarter of an inch and I'm gonna put a reference mark. Then I'm just gonna shift this whole piece in to have it match the reference mark. Make sure my piece lays flat and even, and I'm gonna tape it down. Now, I still have to adjust my crotch line over here, but you can see I have much less stress going on on my inseam over here, okay? Adjust your seam line corner to corner, and your cut line, quarter to corner. These lines are no longer relevant. Retrue your crotch line. Means this little slope here is no longer relevant. And then I'm gonna cut it out, and that will be all. This is number 18 for a receded pubic area. We took out a quarter of an inch. This is the slash method. And all the rest of my labeling is present.